Okay, hi, here I want to show you how to repair the backlight of some of these uh, cheap uh, uh, LED TVs. This one here is an RCA. You will have to separate the frame, the front bezel with the LCD glass from the rest of the assembly. I usually lay it on the LCD screen and then I remove the screws and try to carefully lift the, the rest of the, of the assembly of the TV up once this is done you can remove the exterior frame the diffuser and everything until you see the LED strips before you you will then need to find out uh, which one of the LEDs are broken and usually it's marked on the, um, on the connector where the plus is and then you just have to follow the trace towards the LED and you will find the polarity of the LED. Here would come the difficult part, but it's not difficult. If you try to solder or unsolder these LEDs, it's quite possible that you damage them. So what I recommend is, uh, if you have a used board, for example, a used uh, LED strip, with an LED which has about the same voltage drop as the other ones, just cut out a small piece and glue it onto the, um, the defective strip. So f to do this you have to first remove the old LED of course then you just glue it onto the strip to be repaired. After that you just solder two wires to connect the LED to the rest of the circuit. Here in this TV I replaced three of them and then I'm testing them here it's uh, 10 LEDs in series and I'm applying about uh, 25 volts so after that you just put everything back together once you get to the screen I would recommend putting the back assembly on top of the screen but not tighten any screws or just put in some screws then you turn around the whole TV so the glass is on the top and then you can align the, the glass so it fits exactly in the exterior frame of the backlight. So now here comes an important part. If we want to avoid this, that this happens again, we need to lower the LED current. First we measure the voltage drop on the LEDs with the original circuit and it's about uh, 38 volts. When I did my test I applied 25 volts. What we see here, the LED current goes through a few resistors, they are all in, uh, in parallel and the voltage drop on these resistors and that is then used in the LED current controller to adjust the current. And what we see here is that the current was adjusted to about 1 amp. So we remove all these resistors and put um, some higher resistors in which means the current will be lower. We see that the voltage drop now uh, went down to 30 volts. So that's it. It's pretty easy. The most difficult part is actually not to solder the LEDs. It's the disassembly and assembly of the LCD screen. So um, have fun. And see you next time. Thanks.